So, <laughs> so listen, it's, it's amazing. And one of the reasons why I'm glad that I had the opportunity to speak to you again is because so I, I spoke to you guys about what happens when you're average. And now I want you guys to know that you, know, you guys were the starting point of me going ahead. Now I've graduated with my master since then. I've written a book since then. I've begun my own brand since then. So thank you, thank you. And so I don't think it's by coincidence that I have the opportunity to speak to you guys. I just graduated last month with my master's. I don't think it's a coincidence that I have the opportunity to speak to you guys as you guys get ready to go ahead to high school. So if you could go to my, to my next slide for me. Now, really quickly, everybody say average is failure. Average is failure. All right, now let me hear you say it like, like you got some life in you. Everybody say average is failure. Average is failure. All right, that sounds good. So now listen, how many people watched the NBA playoffs this year? Right, okay. Now, can somebody tell me who's that on the floor right there? James Harden, right? Now, the NBA was interesting this year because you had a real close race for the MVP. Who won the MVP? Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Who got second place? No, no, no. Second place was James Harden. And then third place was LeBron James. Now watch this. After, when they were awarding Stephen Curry the MVP, they asked James Harden who he thought should be MVP. And James Harden said that he, he felt like he should be MVP, right? Which is fine, if you're gonna be a, a top player, you should be confident in yourself. And so they both made it through the first round of the playoffs and eventually got to the second round. And eventually you got to see Golden State Warriors go up against the Houston Rockets. Stephen Curry go up against James Harden. And as much as James Harden felt like he should be the MVP, when he went up against the person that won the, MV won the MVP, it showed who really deserved the MVP, right? Because James Harden didn't really show up the way that he was supposed to. And what I want you guys to understand, because we're not really talking about basketball right now, but what I want you guys to understand is that what allowed you to be successful at this level is not necessarily going to allow you to be successful in the playoffs. What allowed you to be successful, this is the regular season maybe for some of y'all, what was, what was successful now, you gotta take your game up to another level when you get to high school, which for y'all might be the playoffs. So understand this, understand this, James Harden thought that he could have gotten the MVP and that's what we'll get, I'm not gonna take anything from him, but when it came to taking it to the next level, he wasn't able to do that, right? Can you go to the next slide for me? So in keeping with, y'all know who that is? <laughs> right. So watch this, in keeping with talking about, and because I, I, I wanna, I wanna, I tried to make this something that you guys can relate to. In keeping with talking about going to the next level, what you have to understand is that Batman, if you saw The Dark Knight Rises, knew something about going to the next level, right? Now watch this, pay attention to this, right? One of the difficulties that Batman had in that movie is that he went up against Bane and he thought that he could go up against Bane without really preparing properly for it. And y'all about to go to the next level and what I want you guys to understand is that there's going to be a certain amount of preparation that you guys need to embrace if you're going to go to the next level. But at some point, Bane, Bane eventually breaks Batman's back. How many of y'all remember that, right? And then, and then Batman gets tossed into a pit. And now watch this. watch this, watch this scenario, right? Batman is inside of a pit. He's inside of a situation that he doesn't necessarily even wanna be in. And as a matter of fact, he's stuck in a situation that he can't get out of. And one of the things that's happening, there's a bunch of other people that are down there in the pit also. And most of them have never seen what it looks like to be outside of the pit. And so, and so, and so Batman sees all of them, well, technically Bruce Wayne, right? Sees all of them trying to get out of this pit, but nobody can make it out. So Bruce Wayne says to myself, well, these guys are ordinary, but technically I'm Batman, so I got skills like that, so I should be able to get outside of the pit, right? <laughs> and, so, and so what they do is they tie a rope around them and they begin climbing up, right? And he would start climbing the wall. And so he decided to do the same thing. So he starts climbing slowly, slowly getting closer and closer to the top. 
And anybody remember what's there? There's, there's like a ledge there, right? And he has to run and jump over the ledge. If he misses, he falls down, the rope catches him. Well, he tried that first time, and he gets up to the ledge. He gets there, he runs, jumps, and then he falls, misses it. The rope catches him. They let him back down. What's the principle there? What happened is that although Batman had skills, although Bruce Wayne had skills, skills wasn't necessarily enough for him to get through the next level. Skills wasn't enough for him to get outside of the pit. So then all of a sudden he's inside of the pit and he sees something on the TV screen and he sees that his people are in trouble. And so he becomes very passionate. He starts all of a sudden working out, doing some sit-ups and push-ups. And he's like, listen, nothing's gonna stop me from getting out of this pit this time. I got the skills, plus I'm passionate about it this time. I gotta get out the pit. And what happens? He starts climbing again, and then all of a sudden, he falls back down, right? Still can't get out of the pit. And then all of a sudden, something happens. All of a sudden, there's a, there's a, there's a per person who's been down there for quite some time. And there's a person who, they've never been out the pit themselves, but they've at least seen what it looks like for somebody to get out the pit. And they tell, they tell Bruce Wayne, they're like, listen, there's only one person whoever made it outside of that pit. And that one person happened to be a little girl. And so, and so I'm, sure that, I'm sure that Bruce Wayne's pride was hurt. I'm sure his, his pride was hurt because he's Batman and he can't even get out. But this is the key thing. This is the key thing, right? What the man down there, what the doctor told him is, listen, the girl made it out and she's the only one that ever made it out and she's the only one that never used the rope to get out of the pit. And so all of a sudden, what, what the doctor was trying to tell him is, listen, you, the reason why you haven't been able to get out of the pit is because, yeah, you're passionate, yeah, you got skill, but you don't really see the situation as a life or death situation. And what he is saying is that until you see the situation as a life or death situation, you're not going to really give the maximum effort that it requires for you to get to the next level. I said, well, all of a sudden now, Bruce Wayne, he starts walking with another, um, now he is, has a bunch of confidence about him. He has a sack, he goes and he starts climbing, but this time he goes without the rope. And then all of a sudden he gets to that same ledge that he couldn't get past before. And he runs. No, as a matter of fact, he didn't even run this time. He just took one leap, boom, got to the other side. Everybody's cheering, and he begins climbing out. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys, is that what you need to understand is that your education, what you've gotten here from your teachers, and what you're about to get at the next level, it's not just simply about a nice thing about getting your education, but it's a matter of life and death to some extent. Some of y'all may not see it now, but there's some of us who, might, who have struggled at times to put food on the table because we ain't do what we were supposed to do at the lower level, and, it, and, and the next level exposed us. Watch this, when I got kicked out of school, right, and had to pay back $40,000, Right? For one year of law school, it's because I didn't realize that the effort that I was given at one level wasn't good enough for the next level. But now watch this. So Batman eventually gets out the pit. And there's one thing that he does when he gets out of the pit. And this is probably the most important thing for you guys to understand. At the top of the pit, and most people miss this part of the movie, at the top of the pit, there's actually a rope. And what he does is he takes the rope and he lets the rope back down. And the reason why he lets the rope back down is because if you understand anything, he understood that there were some other people who were stuck inside of the pit and they needed some help for them to get outside of the pit now. And he was now in a position to give back down to them so that they could get out of the pit also. So listen, if you could take me to my next slide real quickly. Listen, and, and I want you guys to see this. That was at my graduation last month. And I, you guys see that I'm an author now. I have my own brand now. But listen, what I want you guys to understand is that when I was inside of my basement studying and when, I, when my friends were telling me, listen, come out and hang out. And I was telling them, nah, I can't do this. For like two years, I was like, yo, I can't hang out the way that I used to. It's one of the things that I understood is that I needed to position myself to give y'all evidence so that if they should ever call me to speak at your graduation, I needed to have some evidence to show you that you can get out of the pit. But I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't take my game to the next level. But understand this, the reason why I took my game to the next level, I wasn't even just thinking about myself. There were so many other people that I was thinking about. So some of y'all, listen, as I close, some of y'all, y'all have some family members that might be looking to y'all for to, as an example as to how to get out of the pit. Some of y'all might have younger brothers and sisters that are looking at y'all as examples to get out of the pit. Some of y'all, as y'all get older, your community is gonna be looking at you as examples as how to potentially get outside of the pits that life might throw your way. And I just wanna admonish y'all that as y'all go to the next level, 
high school that you take your games also to the next level. And I'm not talking about, you know, this is not about money, this is not about fame or anything like that, but what it's about is about character. It's about character. So listen, average is failure, your character is legendary. I'm rooting for you guys at the next level, man, all right? So when y'all start, start strong and finish strong. That's my time.